Welcome back to Fever Overtime. Now it's time for a Fever Spotlight brought to you by Suddenly. Fever Spotlight brought to you by Suddenly. The Rusk Eagles have been rolling, entering tonight's matchup with a 3-0 record, but how would they handle a Bullard Panthers team with upset on their mind? Patrick Cunningham joins us live from Eagle Stadium in Rusk to tell us how it all went down. Patrick, take it away. Garrett, tonight it was homecoming for the Rusk Eagles, and they made sure to put up some fireworks for their alumni who came down for the game. Now let's get to those highlights. Russ coming in undefeated this year, but Bullard looking to pull off an upset and get their first win of 2021. First quarter, Russ is going to hand it off to Jermaine Session up the middle. He's going to break a tackle, cut to the outside, and runs down the sideline following his blockers for the Eagle touchdown. Extra point was blocked and returned by Bullard, so Russ only up 6-2. to two. Next drive. Bullard quarterback Aiden Baird, he's going to drop back and fire it over the middle to Clifford Douglas III for the easy touchdown. Again, another no good two point conversion. Panthers take the lead 8 to 6. Eagles quick to respond though. Down at the five, handoff to JD Thompson, barrels over the defenders, crosses the goal line to extend the lead. That made it 13 to 8. Next drive for Rusk in the red zone again. Owen McCown heaves it up to the corner. Will Dixon comes down with it and checks with the ref. Yes, that is a touchdown and it is 20 to 8. Early second quarter, Bullard trying to stay in it. Handoff to Stephen Kemp. He makes his way through the defense for the score. Came up limping, but would remain in the game. He would have two touchdowns on the night. That made it 20 to 15. But after that, it was all Eagles. Let's check that final score. Rusk runs all over Bullard tonight. Four straight touchdowns after that score. 58-22 win on homecoming for the Eagles. Now, after the game, I talked to Coach Sitton, who said he was proud of his team handling the outside distractions and stayed focused on the game tonight. Every single week, we try to be the hardest playing football team in the state of Texas, and uh, they did a great job all week long. You know, locked in on Bullard, focused on Bullard, um, didn't let you know the outside get to them, and extremely proud of them tonight. Now the Eagles soared tonight, Garrett, and I'm sure after tonight they will enjoy the dance tomorrow. Reporting live in Rusk, Patrick Cunningham, Garrett. Let's send it back to you in the studio. 4-0 start there for the Eagles. Great job out there, Patrick. We had a bad